ba? Yeah, we're going to be hearing a lot of those ba buzz tonight. Even more so than any of these other new Super Mario Brothers games. But, uh, hey! Uh, you're down in the underground with Volcanic Dynamo, and welcome back to Mario Mondays, where we make your Monday better. One Mario game at a time. We got a new Mario game, a new Super Mario Brothers 2 video game, might I add. Yep, yeah, uh, so this is the uh, 3DS installment of the new Super Mario Brothers series. Um, if you talk about the coin counter and bombs, about money, money, money. We're going to get money, and <laughs> to be honest, that's kind of it. Um, new Super Mario Brothers 2 has sort of a reputation of being kind of just there. Like, this is probably the Mario game that people think about the least, besides maybe the mobile game. But even the mobile game at least has, like, some unique mechanics to it. Um, this one is just another 2D Mario game. Uh, released just a few months before we got New Super Mario Brothers U for the Wii U, which also simultaneously knocked the wind out of that game sale. So, um... We'll see how this how this game goes. Um, outside of touching one of the optional modes for a little bit, I haven't played this game since it came out. And I've replayed almost every Mario game or played it more after be besides this one. Like, at all except for maybe like a few here and there. But this one, I have not. So I'm curious to see how it is. Um, so how about we get started? Now we're going to solo play, click new game. Let's watch the intro. So after a lovely afternoon at Peach's Castle, Mario and Luigi are flying and they're getting rich! Because that's that's all we care about today is about is money. Why isn't Wario in this game? All seems to be going well, except the Koopalings are back. They got the big boy Koopa cart. And they got the princess. Whatever shall we do? Well, it's time for another Mario adventure. And as you'll already notice, this map world map looks a lot like the world map from New Super Mario Bros. 1. Meanwhile, oh, whoops. Whoops, no, can we press this? No, can we screw that? Thank you, okay, see LNR buttons. See, it uses the same sort of um, left, to, left to right structure as those games. We have the star coin uh, unlock gates from the original, but so far most of the presentation and the music and stuff is taken from New Super Mario Bros. Wii. You know, we just started the game and already it feels kind of like a mishmash of games, but you know, how about what? Let's see what happens when we actually start a game. World 1 1. So, as all of the massive coin counters will indicate to you, this game's all about money. There are coins everywhere. There are more coins in the levels for this game than pretty much any other Mario game, and they're everywhere. Coins, coins here. You'll get each level, you're, pretty much every level of this game, you're going to be getting hundreds of coins. Hundreds upon hundreds of coins. This means that effectively. Uh, there's no way to get the game over, because you're just going to be rich the whole time, all money, all day. For example, when you break, when you start to get at least 10 coins out of these blocks, Mario gets a block on his head, and you just keep getting money. You get 100 coins out of these, and there are multiple of these in many stages. Like in this stage, there are multiple of these. There's just money, so much money, everywhere. Uh, if I recall correctly, you might have played, like, a small bit of this game. But, yeah. Honestly, unless you really like replaying levels to collect coins, like a score attack, I'm gonna say that you probably haven't missed all that much. And we'll talk about why as we get through this game. But, uh, let's go to a secret area. Let's go down here, ground pound... If you notice, I've already collected, like, 200 coins in this one stage alone. And that is not, ooh, and that is not an outlier. This game is just money, money, money everywhere. 320 coins. Now, you might be wondering, hey, what do the coins do for you? Um, I get you extra lives. 
there's not that much to the coin collecting in this game other than points. Which isn't, like, inherently bad. But yeah, it is pretty satisfying to just get a bunch of money. And that's sort of the fun of this game. It's about, it's... It's very much oriented towards that sort of, oh man, look at all the riches I'm getting. Look at all the coins that you could collect, you know? And if you're into that sort of high score collection style of gameplay, then this game ain't really all that bad. But it is kind of just... Mario. But yeah, we're going to be spending a lot of time collecting lots of coins. You want If you like collecting coins... You like the dopamine of just getting a bunch of coins and hearing that coin sound effect all day. Then this is probably the Mario game for you because you are getting lots of money. Lots and lots of money and lots of lives. We already have 12 lives and we're finished with the first level. You could already, the live counter has three digits already. Things are about to get wild, friends. And I hope you guys are ready for that. Yay, we got 500 coins. Now, the game has sort of this optional goal uh, that, you know, it'll keep track of coins and your coin count will be displayed on the tops on the title screen, right? And it'll also, you know, it'll show all, of, it'll basically show every single coin that you've collected throughout the entire game, right? Um, the side goal, and they advertise on the box, is hey, uh, you want to collect a million coins? And you can do that, but there's no real reason to. It's just for points. It's just for bragging rights. Even bragging rights. You could easily do it just by grinding. It'll take your time, but... How hard is it to do? I want to say it's... I would say it's less hard and more just really time-consuming. More than anything else. The main reason I haven't done it is just because it would, ta it would take forever. Uh, I guess not even, like, that much forever. It just, not, I guess not even really forever from my experiences. Like, just from the, few, just from it. To put it into perspective, I have about, um, 500,000 coins. Uh, in my 3, on my 3, in my 3DS copy. And there is no way to get that amount in a standard playthrough. You have to be playing, I have to replay the main game or the coin rush mode. Speaking of Blast from the Past, though. We got the Mega Mushroom is back. It's it's not as cool as it used to be. It doesn't get you an extra lives. It just breaks blocks. It's it's okay, but it's definitely not as cool as it used to be. But it's here. You see it in a few levels. Oh, whoops! Didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. I meant to do this. And that. Now we got lots of room. And lots of money. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. You'll, you'll be hearing me say a lot about money in this new Super Mario Brothers video game. Because that is, that is, that is the video game. The video game is money and getting money. And finding bonuses. Like one-up mushrooms. Which kind of feel redundant since you get hundreds and hundreds of coins in this stage. I would say my playthrough of this stage wasn't very good. And I or and I still have 228 coins. Right? But. It is kind of the appeal of this game. Just keep getting money. Ooh, ooh yes. Okay. So, I got 11 on the timer. If Depending on which world you're in. Um, if you're in the right world, like world one, you do 11, world two, you get 22. Uh, you get some fireworks. And you not only get fireworks, but you also get rainbow stages. And rainbow stages let you get lots of money. They're all about getting money. This sort of replaces the, um, getting the bonus, um, bonus, um, toad houses. Happy Pride! Yes, Happy Pride! We're almost on Pride Month! Uh, happy Pride. Uh, here's Rainbow Squ- Hmm. If this is all about getting money, would this count as Rainbow Capitalism? Or am I just thinking too hard about this? Ooh. 
Look at how much money we're getting. Look at the money. Look at this money! We've gotten 375 coins just from that one bonus stage. And we're gonna get more coins because we can actually get floating coin blocks. You might remember the flying blocks that followed you on the world map in, um, in what's its face? In the original New Super Mario Brothers. Um, there's a similar mechanic with the gold, with, uh, golden blocks in this one, and they just get you a bunch of coins. Uh, speaking of mechanics taken from New Super Mario Brothers, uh, we have, um, paths that are, that you can open using your star coins. And this unlocks... Toad houses. This also allows you to save the game. So, again, similar to the original game, um... It is worth your while to go after them if you want to ever save your progress early, not just quick save. Uh, we're not really going to be using the Toad Houses too much, but uh, there's no mini game to this one. It just presents you with three power ups and you claim whichever what whichever two you want. It's okay. Let's go to World One Three though. If I recall correctly, this is the level that reintroduces the raccoon suit. Uh, money, money. Thank you. So, you wanted to see it? Oh, okay, we'll go back there next time. We'll go back there in a bit. So, raccoon suit. Raccoon suit is less like the Mario 1 raccoon suit and more like the Mario World cape feather. The real first reason, you can float to jump, but all you have to do is hold the button. It's kind of like the Tanuki suit in Super Mario 3D World, but it's very much like the cape. Just hold the button. In the older Mario games, Minecraft Mario. In the older games, you had to like, rapidly tap the button, and that still works, but you can just hold it, and in the original, the spin attack was kind of slow and not very efficient. It would be, it would be like that, right? You'd have to, you have to, you know, it'd be kind of slow. It's not super useful. Again, you're trading off offense for mobility. In this game, similar to the cape feather. Whee! Whee! And of course, it wouldn't be the raccoon suit without flight. You can, if you run a little bit, you fill up your P meter and you can fly. P meter does a good job of showing you um, how much is left in the tank, thankfully, when you're flying now, which is a pretty cool advancement. Doesn't mean I will always be good at it. Hi, John. Welcome to Mario Mondays. We got, we got Raccoon Mario. He's, he's a good old raccoony boy. I will take it. Every time you just land on the ground, though, it'll restart your meter. So it's pretty useful if you're trying to uh, run. And of course, if you're running, fa if you run, you could also fly with items. Yes, so we got another golden block. Yay! But yeah, uh, Tanuki Mario is back in all of his flying glory. I like how they made this fo level forest themed. It's there's not much to it, but it's pretty nice. Is this the first of the it is. Uh, is it hard to fly and hold at the same time? No, it's actually not. Uh, if if you mean like holding items, can you throw the item in the air? Uh, you probably. If you let go of the run button, you can. You have to let go of the run button. I want myself some coin block, thank you. It's not hard to uh, fly and hold at the same time. In fact, I'd say this is probably the easiest Mario flight. As long as you get max speed, you don't have to do anything rhythmically. Like in other Mario games, you might know, oh, if you're running with the with the running with the cape, you gotta do the rhythmic jumping. If you're flying with Tanuki Mario, you have to press the button over and over again. In this game, all you gotta do is like tap the all you gotta do is not die. That would be nice. But all you gotta do is hold the button. When you're once you've reached top speed. All you gotta do is hold the button. And it's the easiest flight you'll have ever experienced in a Mario game. Doesn't necessarily make it bad, but again, pretty easy. 
least, excuse me. Ugh, I ended up having a lot to eat today. <laughs> I'm a little bloated. So, um... Oh, I might be burping a bit. Alright, so we got two of the three star coins. That's good. And we got the last one here. All we gotta do is use our Tanuki Tail. Aw, oh, I was hoping to get the 50 coin. Right, let's defeat some of these Goombas so I can maybe have some room to run, please. Alright, perfect. Flying! Makes it really easy to get to the top of flagpoles. Doesn't really matter too much to get extra lives because, like, you're getting dozens upon dozens of extra lives just by playing the game and collecting coins, but it's still nice. Now we're coming to our first tower. Once again, towers are structured like their new Super Mario, but there's one counterpart. Completely vertical levels, relatively small moving space, not space, the occasional left to right. Uh, we do have a couple new enemies. We have uh, these bony piranha plants. Um, they're piranha plants, but they're immune to fire. They really wanted piranha plants inside of um, fortresses, so well, there you go. Uh, dry Bones, you know, they're also new Boz in the song, and the enemies dance to it, so uh, Dry Bones actually have a new dance animation, which we'll hopefully see in a few moments. I'll give our, this Dry Bone over here a moment. Hopefully they'll give us one. Come on, buddy. All right. Look at this man. They dance just like um, their living counterparts. It's kind of neat. But now every level, that means also that, that various songs that didn't have Boz in the other games in the series now have them. Which, uh, <laughs> if you're tired of all the ba ba, then that's probably not the best news. The other new enemy, which we'll see in a bit, which I think we already saw, but I'll introduce them again in a bit because we're going to be taking a bit of a shortcut. Our bone Goombas. They're Goombas with bones on their head. You can still kill them the same as regular Goombas, but they look nice. But yeah, bo dry bone product plants are new for this game. And so are the bony Goombas. Again, outside of having, like, Goombas in the stages, which I guess is kind of neat, they really just feel like an excuse to have those enemy types inside of fortresses now. Like, neat! We can see the dry bones in this stage again. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Anyway, uh, we've unlocked the path to the, um... We've unlocked the path to the, uh, the cannon. And we'll talk about those in a little bit. We'll talk about those in a little bit. First things first, we're going to unlock this path because I'm actually going to be going after the live houses because uh, one of the requirements to get true 100% to get all five stars in your file is to have max lives. So we're going to be doing live mini games, and then we'll go to the other toad house. All right. So in this mini game, we're going to have to we're going to have to punch the lives. Using this. Ba boing. 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 Yay! We did it. It's a good amount of lives. Good job, Mario. All right. Let's now actually go show off the um the Toad House. So as I mentioned before, Toad House is half no mini game in this game. Toad will come in. He'll provide some power-ups. You take two of them. They played the Toad House music from 3D Land. In fact, they use a lot of 3D Land sound effects in this one, which is kind of unique since um, a lot of the new Super, Mar new Super Mario Brothers U and Super, Mar Super Mario Brothers Wii don't do that. It's kind of neat. But yeah, we don't really need any of these power-ups. We're just going to leave. See you later, Toad. But yeah, basically allows you to have access to any, basically any power-up you want, because later on in the game, they'll basically give you access between mini, um, mini mushroom, fire flower, and tanuki, which is really nice. 
I believe it's you get to pick two of them, but you can basically take anything you want. It's kind of simplistic, but hey, it's not bad. But yeah, Bone Goomba. You, I believe Bone Goombas have very little purpose in this game besides being another Goomba enemy type. They really just wanted more Goombas. Which, I mean, again, I guess if you really want to reuse that specific enemy type inside of your game, that's fine. I also noticed that this game uses uh, the snake block snake blocks more than the other games? I'm not sure why. I guess the, the, the level designers just kind of like them. I will talk more about this game's development as we get a little bit later in the game. Because honestly, I find the the I what the this situation behind the game development more interesting than the game itself. Honestly, the again, New Super Mario Brothers 2 is probably the most new Super Mario Brothers of the new Super Mario Brothers, for better or for worse. So, it's not something I, like, super love intensely. But, it's fine. Alright, so we're gonna keep going. We're not- we got the secret exit, so we should be good. But there are still more secrets to be found. More money, more riches. Those are the same thing, but whatever, it's fine. We got ourselves a warp pipe. I definitely shouldn't have done that, so uh, we're going to go back to the map. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm what, I'm what I should do in that section is I'm supposed to hit the switch first and then go up. But again, it has been many years since I've played through this game in full. Again, this is one of the, few this is one of the few Mario games I haven't beaten at least twice. I mean, hey, that's not that irregular for most people, but I know, but you know... Mario pedigree over here. I know you guys expect some Mario mastery in your Mario Mondays. And I can't say I'm a Mario master of this game. I mean, again, not like it's hard. I mean, you can basically, there's no risk of ever getting a game over unless you are like really like new to games because you get so many coins. Um, again, not inherently a negative. Dang it, missed the one up. Uh, you'll just go up this way. I don't need the other coin. I will get the power up. Give me my 1,000 points. You know, because I'm really going to need points in this game. <laughs> Again, no no Mario game has ever really meaningfully used points outside of uh, New Super Mario Brothers Wii. I mean, outside of Mario 3. And I guess, technically... No, come on, run, 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 run. I want to go up because we have a star coin, which only appears temporarily. There you go. That's why we got to hit the switch. Sorry, I had to miss. Shame we had to miss all those blue coins, but come on, we we need the riches. All right, so we got a bit of a bit of a piranha business over here. Oh, wait a bit. Spin ya. And we got our way up. And I'm guessing one last power-up before our boss. Nope, just coins. Any power-ups? No power-ups. All right, so I hope we have some, I hope we have some Mario World fans in the chat because we're about to see the return of a beloved enemy. It's Reznor. And he's even easier than he used to be, ignoring the fact that I got squished by the block and could have died, but it's fine. But yeah, we got Reznor. Um, he's there. He makes roary noises. I think that's the same noise as the Bone Coaster. It sounds like the same noise as the Bone Coaster. They roar like Godzilla. It's true. Uh, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take the cannon first, cause no, actually we're not gonna do the cannon first. Uh, we're gonna do one fur first, cause I want I want a, a Tanuki leaf from this level, and I don't want to waste the one I already have. Got a pretty standard athletic level. If you like the boss, I hope you're gonna love this one. This song's all boops, all boss now. 
All right, we also run into our first gold ring, which fucks up what I'm supposed to do. You darn video game. You darn video game. Well, what the coin does is that it main turns every enemy gold. It turns every enemy gold and lets you and lets them spawn in a bunch of coins. Uh, not really doing that right now. So we're just going to be sad. And we're just gonna have to take our power up from the bottom screen. Da 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 Oof. Gimme. 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 No! I didn't hit it hard enough. No. No golden head for me. Well. I do know where our star coins are in this level though. So that's pretty good. And we get back our little, uh sound effect so similar to uh, having yoshi in the new super mario brothers games what they decided to do in this game is that they gave a uh, mario a little sound effect i mean the music a little sound effect when you have um the t when you have the tanuki suit or i guess when you have the raccoon suit technically raccoon it's a you can subtly hear it when i'm not talking it doesn't play in the bonus stages unfortunately but you can subtly hear it. It's like a nice little... It's a nice little little jingle. Mario did it. Mario's about to get even more rich than he already has before. Even with my scripts, you have like a hundred... We have a lot of money. Alright, Mario. Let's get even more money. Go up! Okay. Good job, Mario. We should be able to run into another gold ring, so I can at least show off how that works a little bit better. Yeah, right here. So if we stop this Koopa Troopa, you get like a ring of coins just just from just from them, which I find pretty cool. Again, this game's all about collecting them coins. So if you just get a bunch of money and do a bunch of stuff, and you get really good. All right, so now we're gonna go. We, we're, we're gonna skip the water level for now. Two thousand coins, yay! We're gonna skip the water level and we're gonna go to the cannon because we need the cannon to unlock um world mushroom. So the world, how the worlds are handled in this game is a little weird. It's kind of similar to how it is in the original game. If you remember, in that game, there are several bonus worlds that are available. No, I almost got all of them. Dang it. Oh, well. But yeah, if you remember, um, there are a lot of bonus levels uh, that are only up to, that are that you can only find by beating certain bosses and with with the mini mushroom. Here, it's not that, but in the main path, you only go through six worlds. It's the similar in this game. But instead of having them accessible through bosses, you just take the cannons. But the cannons now are actual levels. So, as soon as we get inside the cannon. Three, two, one. Bam. And we get another level. The pre- To be honest, the, uh... The raccoon kind of breaks these, but I do like the idea of this auto-running Mario level that kills me. All right, all right. We'll play the level fair and square. Am I feeling the heat today? I'm trying to stay cool. I have my air conditioner on. I've been mostly chilling inside, so I should be fine. But yeah. Uh, an auto-running Mario level. Mario! I don't know why he didn't land. I should have landed. Mario, shall we try again? Shall we try again in this auto-scrolling stage? Womp, womp, womp. Alright, Mario, let's go. But yeah, I like the idea behind these stages. It does something cool with warp besides just making them like bonus levels you unlock. But I think there's something really 
unique to that, even though I'm really bad at these levels. Um, but yeah, it's a clever, it's a clever uh, reuse of an idea that's pretty standard. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Okie dokie. All right, Mario, jump, jump. I appreciate the use of the coin tracks to help you follow everything. There we go. Now we got our goods. We got a free gold flower. Technically, those powers aren't introduced until um, the flower till the next world, but it's fine. Now we got World Mushroom, where Larry is. Once you unlock World, get to the next world, uh, you unlock the Coin Rush mini game. We'll talk about that later. Um, but we're not gonna we're not gonna do this world yet. We're gonna come back to World Mushroom near the end of tonight's stream. For now, we're going to continue with um, the standard game. So we are going to. Purchase the path to the next to World 1A. I, they also, you know, fun fact, you know, funny, they also bring back the naming scheme of the original, of the first new Super Mario Brothers. Bonus levels that you unlock with those, with, uh, bonus levels are labeled with A and B instead of, you know, further numbers. But, you know, we gotta do the water level first. Everyone's favorite, you know. But, hey, we gotta do them. But, you know what makes water levels? way more fun carnage and destruction so let's be gold mario gold mario you might know you know you might know him from mario kart uh gold mario is, is op in this game massive giant gold fireballs that end up destroying multiple enemies and getting you a bunch of coins and when you beat a level with with gold mario you get a free fire flower afterward Unless you get hit, of course. Also, any gold, only gold blocks you hit with um, the power up, they turn into coins. So um, you get rich. Yeah, really, really rich. And we're gonna keep getting rich because uh, that's the name of this game. It's New Super Rich Brothers. Originally, this game was going to be called New Super Mario Bros. Gold, but because of the amount of stages in the game, of which, you know, there are actually a, a large amount of stages, thought the game could still stand on its own. Very satisfying, yeah! It's like a gold bonanza. You're just raining riches and money. And, again, it can be fun from a very visceral standpoint. Again, my problems with... Oh, no! We got hit. Well, the good times can't last forever. Oh, well. Give me my five coins, please. I will take my money. I've already gotten more money in this stage than I probably should have, so it's fine. All right, so I'm interested in this in this yellow warp pipe right here. Let's take a look. Do we get a star coin? Oh, we do get a star coin, but we gotta be careful because we got we got pits that try to suck you down. Kind of reminds me of the first Mario game, honestly. But we're nearing the, uh, but we're at the halfway point of the stage. We should probably get an, we should be getting a, uh, fire flower now. So we at least have regular fire power. And that's pretty good. Can still get some goodies. Oh, nice. One up. We can still get a good amount of goodies from these. Can we go down? No? Ow. I should be more careful. I feel like there should be stuff down there, but I'm going to assume there's not, and instead, just come up here. And just keep getting chased by this evil man. This evil, evil man. This evil, cheap, cheap friend. Oh, we got big boy! Don't want to be, de don't want to deal with big boy today. Instead, I just want money. Oh boy, cheap chomp. Don't want you to deal with you, buddy. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. You can you can take away my power up. You can take it away. That's fine. Because I'm at the end of the level. I'm gonna get more power up next stage. I'm done dealing with you. 
Triple jump to the one up. That almost rhymed. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, Mario time. Let's go. Okie dokie. We locked our path to the castle. 3,000 coins. We're getting stinky rich in this in this life. And now we got World 1A. I, I, you know, I feel like this is one of the levels you played when you borrowed my copy, Alexia. Uh, I feel like this is it, but I don't remember. This one's kind of novel. It's a weird little funky pipe maze. It's got, you know, it's got some fun enemies, a lot of piranha plants. Power up. Anything up here? Anything over here? No, they want us to go down. So this uses the, uh, the gates. Uh, you might remember these from the original game. I think they're briefly used in New Super Mario Bros. Wii as well. But they're mostly fun in this game. You can stuff from the other games. We got ourselves a good old cannon pipe. No pipes down there. But we do seem to have... Opportunity. An opportunity. Uh, that's not quite what I was hoping for, but I guess that works. Uh, sure. Okay. Nice. Uh, go down, please. Thank you. Ah, oh, dang it. Didn't hit it enough. Big shame. Any hidden things up here? Up here, maybe? No. I don't want to miss anything. I feel like one time when I played this level last, I missed something. Nope, there's nothing up there. All right, we're just, we'll keep going then. Womp, womp, womp. All right. Here we go. Give me my goodies. Give me my goodies over here, my friends. Hmm, I feel like I wanted to go into that pipe, but, you know, we'll get money. And sometimes that's all that matters. Just the riches we make along the way. Beautiful. Look at how much money we're getting. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now, I do feel like I missed something. The golden enemies look cute and pretty. Yeah, I, I I really love like the golden effects they add to them. They make them really stand out. And then I guess the game themed all about gold and gold coins. They better make them stand out, you know? All right, so let's keep going. All right. Big prana plants. Goodbye. Money. Every little thing you do is rewarded with money in this life. Well, in the new Super Mario Brothers life, at least. All right. If I stand on you, do you take me to a bonus section? I know you do in another level, but do you do in this game? Or do we just get to fly with you? You do take me to a bonus. No, you don't. Dang it. <laughs> There's another level in this game, I think, in World F Flower? That, re that does that trick, but you need to do it in order to, um, in order to access a bonus area. All right, so going back, I want to take the pipe this time. Before I go down, yeah, I want to... Am I allowed to take the pipe? No? No pipe? Nope, they just want the bonus? Okay, we're going back then. All right, let's see. Where do we? Where are these last star coins? Because we are running out of time. Up here? In here? Down here? Down here? Down here? Coins. Uh, maybe down. Coins. I definitely feel like I'm missing something. Okay, is this star coin two? No, okay, that's star coin two still. No, that's not a pipe we can go through. Anything this way? 
Okay, that looks this this seems okay. This seems promising. Okay, let's get big money. Look at that, big money, big money. Ow. Anything in here? No. No. All right. Ow. All right, all right, don't do that to me, video game. Just give me my fire flower and let's go. You don't have a lot of time left. All right. Nothing in here, but I do like the coins. One, two. Don't do that. All right. I feel like it's in one of the... One of the, yeah, right here. There we go. This should get us to the last star coin. But we're gonna need our friend, Koopa Troopa. Luckily, that also gets us our money. And lets us get the heck out of here. Okay, let's go! Okay, 8,000 points, that's fair. All right, that is right. It is a Mario time indeed. Good job, Mario. All right, let's go get a power up and then let's go beat this castle. Hey, Toad. Can you give me some goods? Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. That is the stuff. Mm, give me, give me you. I don't want a mini mushroom. Give me that. Yep. Just take two power ups. It's great. You can't change the power up in here, that's fine. But yeah. So much money, so many power ups, and now! We gotta deal with Roy Koopa. Because Roy Koopa has kidnapped the princess today. In this level, we got these ropes. We got Buzz, ba. Right, what power up is this level gonna give me? Oh. I'll take one, and I'll take another. Give me my two raccoons. Mm -hmm. I feel like these rope climbing sections were also in the previous game. You can temporarily jump down, press the down button, and we get access to our first star coin. Stop that. We can fly up. Get ourselves another Tanuki Leaf. I guess to Raccoon Tail, really. And we get lots of money. And lots of rich. Ow. I don't appreciate that video game. But I will appreciate the amount of money you're about to give me here. Give me riches. Beyond your wildest imaginations. So we had rope climbing, now we got rope swinging. And we got the Thwomps. Hey, buddies. Hello, Mr. Thwomp. I appreciate how they clearly delineate where the Thwomps are with, um, with the colored lines. I can appreciate that. Ooh, we have another section over here. That seems... Right, we don't need the canoe. Okay, beautiful. We can just wall jump. Got some coins. We've collected nearly 300 coins here, which seems incredible to me. And can we just sneak down here? Sweet. All right, so that's the end. Are they gonna give us like uh? Okay, just 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 you. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's uh, let's go beat up. Our good man, Roy Koopa. Hi, Roy Koopa. You've really gotten a demotion, huh? You've gone from, like, the fifth boss of these games to, like... To, like, the first? Even Larry's got a higher position than you in this game. Larry! And he's living like a Larry! He just looks like a Larry. 
Many serotonin. And there you go. Another easy boss. I mean, it's a Koopaling, so I guess you kind of expect it. Mario looks up at the coin, which is pretty nice. Get that boss coin. Mario number one, woohoo. They take turns. But yeah, that's world one of this game. Um, and there's Iggy Koopa ready to take, ready to take the princess to the, um, ready to take the princess to the desert. We got all the star coins in that world, all the levels, so that's pretty good. But yeah, very similar. So there we go. Did he just slap his booty at us? Yes, he did. Don't judge him. He's doing great. All right, we're doing uh, World 2. We're on to World 2. Desert music. Desert level once again. Again, this music is just the same stuff from the previous game. You know, nothing really special if, you have, if you've already played New Super Mario Bros. Wii. But if you have it, this is a pretty good track. I do like the variance in the red coins, though. I like how they come down at you from from um, parachutes. Now I think that's really clever. Ow! Didn't mean to do that. All right. Never run into any star coins yet. Hmm. That's just that this. Oh, there we go. That's our first one. Really charming and fun. And this is the level that's supposed to introduce the gold flower. And you can tell because it's built all around it. We're about to get rich again. Again, this 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 money is ridiculous. Every enemy you kill gets you money. Every enemy you kill gets you money. Every block you hit gets you money. It's money. You like money? You like collecting coins? Nintendo agrees with you and is like, here's a whole game. Just just get a bunch of money. Have you hit a brick roll? <laughs> Have you hit a brick roll into getting some gold coins? <laughs> just keep getting money. Gold coins. Only coins. Only gold coins. That's all you need. Thanks, Nintendo. Nintendo was like, hey, you know, you know what the kids don't get enough of? Getting coins. So we'll make a whole game just about getting money. This is what... This is what Pikadika was all about. I understand. And now... Coins. Everywhere. This, this level's probably really good in Coin Rush mode too, because that game... That mode... Again, it replaces... All of the uh, one-up mushrooms get replaced. I don't like how the enemy is treating me right now. So I'm gonna come this way, go a bam. And we're just gonna wait. One. Three. No? Okay, you don't wanna do that? Okay. Using the gold fog to blocks and the coins. It's a pretty rich idea. I got all the coins. And we're gonna rich! I'm gonna rich you! I don't even know if this game gives you points if you defeat enemies with uh, gold without with. I'm just gonna get you rich. Unfortunately, you don't get to keep gold Mario when you finish the stage. You just get Mario. Mario time. But you do get a free fire flower out of it though, so it is nice. And let's see how many coins we get that stage. Four hundred and eighty. That is a lot of money. I'm about to get a block. And we got another toad house. We don't need a toad house right now, but it's nice to have it. And a lot, and a, a way to save our game. That's pretty good. But we're about to go to uh, one of the more invent. What's the last time that you crossed a bridge on foot? I couldn't tell you to be honest. Also, I think this is one of the more inventive levels visually. You're you're on these sort of um these uh totem pole esque structures which i guess is and you know not a lot of mario games have done that sort of uh sort of that sort of uh, visual motif so i think it's kind of cool to see in practice here
Again, sometimes this game can be pretty unique visually. You know, sometimes it actually does some pretty fun ideas with its lo with its locales, you know? It's still within the basic themes, don't get me wrong. It's, I wouldn't say this game is like a secret hidden gem Mario game or anything of the sort. But it can be kind of clever at times. I wouldn't say enough to fully justify its existence, but I mean, it's it's fine. It, it, it's fine. Got a lot of boomerang themed enemies here. But the last time I went on a bridge and foot, I could not tell you. Uh, I feel like it's probably been like on a vacation or something. I mean, again, let's not forget, you know, I've pandemic has really like screwed up going to play bridges. Bridges are way more hypothetical these days. See, I'm glad you understand, John. Uh, ow. We've received a rare death in this video game. Your average peasant got the cross way more of them per day. Yeah, but we don't live in that lifestyle anymore. That's not where we are. All right, let's get ourselves our power up. Get the power up again, please. Give me my coins. Give me my riches. I went down the wrong port. Whoops. Or Venetian, yeah, Venetians, yeah. All right, look, it's fine. We're, we have 81 lives. We're good. We're good. We're not. We're never. Th we're never gonna be threatened with a game over in this game ever. And that's because these coins only get you one ups. They don't do anything else. It would have been kind of cool that if they used the coins in a more meaningful way outside of just being a score keeping system. Like, I think it would have been cool if co if the coins that you collect could be used in, like, a store. Or if they replaced the lives entirely and just focused on the scoring system. But, that was not meant to be. What is it like to live in a city with ducks everywhere? Hmm. I mean, I guess it's not like we don't have ducks around us. Alright, so we gotta be a little careful. But we don't have to be that careful. It is kind of fun to have an enemy, a level that's primarily themed after the uh, the Hammer Brothers and their elk. They're not an everywhere thing, though. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, ducks are wild little birds, so that's just how it's gonna be, I guess. All right, so let me get out of here. Let me get out of this pipe, and let's get to. Ow! You jerk, man. I don't like you. Alright, we're going up, though. One up. I would like that. Man. Super bro! Goodbye! Ooh, no, 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 gimme, 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 yes, enough coins, and we gotta bounce off of an enemy, kinda clever how we actually have to use an enemy bounce to get something, again, this game doesn't really rely on the whole, um, on the whole, uh, use hidden walls stuff, like the console game does, there's the exit, I believe if we go down, though, no, not this level, I feel like I thought in this level for some reason I thought there was like a a um There was a um section where you can get a gold ring, but I guess not. Do you think boomerang koopas are stereotypical portrayals of Australians? I mean, I don't know. Like they kinda just throw boomerangs. They don't have much personality beyond that, but it's like saying hammer brothers are stereotypical of people who use hammers. So uh I guess that's on you. You know, I wonder how many coins we're going to collect by the end of this stream. I feel like we're going to- we might get close to 10,000. They're just vibing, I agree. Alright, so this bypasses the castle. Uh... So, we'll do it first, and then we'll back- we'll back around, and we'll do, um, World 2, um... We'll do World 2-3. This is another visually- I like how they incorporate the, um... The platforms on the previous stage in the background of this stage. I think that's like a really clever idea. 
And again, the focus on the stone structures as the major platforming gimmick, I think, is, like, really cool. We got a hidden section down here. Does this get us anywhere? I don't think that did. I think that just got us backwards. All right. Goodbye. Get out of here. All right. Can we build up some speed? No. No. No, we don't have enough room to build speed. Alright. Maybe if we do something like this and go back, we'll be good. Okay, sweet. Okay, so we... Using new technology to go backwards through levels. It's beautiful. Make sure we don't miss anything. If we go up here... To get us the real goods. Beautiful! God, I wish I could jump like this. Me too. Me, me too, John. If we could all just jump like Mario could, this would be a much better place. Alright. We actually want to gain some speed here. I don't think you don't need- I, if I think if we jumped later that, we could have gotten that power- we could have gotten that segment naturally. And not just from missing. But, uh, we're not taking any chances today. Where would I jump? I would jump everywhere. Uh, you- do you- wait, do you mean to get the specific, um, that star- that star coin? Do you mean in general? Because if you wanted to get that specific star coin, what you'd have to do is you'd have to jump from that platform when it goes lower, and then jump up through it. Um... Oh, wait, no, going back, going back, going back, we're reloading that platform. Oh, in real life? Oh, no, you jump anywhere. Jumping is fun, man. You just leap. Leap to get around, leap to have some fun, leap across... No. Loading platforms. That's that's what we got to do. And we got ourselves our co third star coin. Beautiful. Wee. 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 Woo! You mother fudger! I don't like what you did there. I don't like what you did there. Do I have a Mario button? Uh, depends on what you mean by a Mario button. Let's get our power up again. Let's get our power up. Let's get our second power up. And let's get that star medal. Let's get that star coin again. It's called- It's called my heart! Oh, no. I- I thought that would actually let me do it. Okay, you have to jump in order to activate the flight. You can't just fall from a running speed. Which is kind of a shame. I would have liked that, but yeah, it's called it, yeah. I am the Mario button. I am, I guess the I am arguably the human personification of the Mario button. I think many many folks would agree on that. Mm. All right, there we go. Got ourselves our money. I can't look at that link right now, but I will check it out sometime later. I'll check it out after uh, this level. Unless, 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 unless Wo wants to verify it for me. Alright, so let's get a bunch of money. Blue coins! Whee! I bet with a good amount of run and jump. Just a Google search for Mario button. <laughs> well, what is the, what survey says? What? What do we say? What does it say about Mario button? Get any any Mario buttons? A few things it could mean. Mm. Too much inconclusive evidence. All right. We're running out of time. Look at that. We have 90 lives. We are destroying the live count in this game. We're destroying it. All right. 
You've unlocked a path to the castle, to the, uh, the level. Let's do two, three, and then let's get that life level. Goodbye. It's kind of fun seeing the question mark blocks embedded inside of the, um, imbe in embedded inside of the, sh of the structures. It really makes it feel like a golden, golden wonderland. Which, I mean, I guess this really is. I wonder if this is a... Whoa, oh, wow. Uh, let's, let's get the, let's get a Tanuki Leaf. Tanuki Leaf. Yes, we're about to rich! Look at this, we got money! We're about to get really rich. And we're about to die, because Mario knows how to lose a life. If Mario knows anything, it's death. It's fine. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just get ourselves, we'll get ourselves a power up from here. Do 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 do. All right. Get us this. Get us one of these. I'm not gonna be taking a mini mushroom unless I need it. But, I'm glad it's there for me regardless. I guess this game also doesn't really introduce many thing, many new things in terms of power-ups. The gold flower is here, but that's like it. And, uh, and the gold flower isn't like, it's it's a new form of Mario, but you know, it's basically just a powered up, um... It's basically just a buffed up, um... Fire flower. You know? So... I guess that's interesting to note. I get. I guess that's also part of the part of the feeling fans get when they're like, "Okay, this is not a bad game, but it does feel a little derivative," you know. And again, I don't blame anyone who feels that way about this game because it is very derivative. I mean, the coin collecting gimmick's fun, and I think Coin Rush is good, but it's definitely one of those Mario games that adds. Very little to the formula. Good fun, chill time. Yeah. Though, to be fair, I guess this also was when New Super Mario Brothers fatigue was really starting to set in. Like, this was after two New Super Mario Brothers games, and after some fans were like, "Hey, you know, this this three land game is pretty good, but it's kind of a lot like Mario 3. I would like some more quote unquote originality." This is when the brand was being was starting to be very. When the brand was starting to be very safe. And I guess that's the best thing to call this game. It is safe. This is a very safe video game. And that's not necessarily an insult because there are because a safe game can, is not a bad game. But it does. But it does mean if you wanted something like bold and like big, you're absolutely not getting it from this game. You know. And again, I can't- I can sympathize with the folks who are kind of like disappointed in that. Like, oh, you know, I would have liked more from this game. I think the best thing to call this game is New Super Mario Bros. 2. Yeah, it, it, it really is exactly what it says on the tin. It's more New Super Mario Bros. You like the first one, you're probably gonna like this one. Not much more to it, not much less. It's a fun little gimmick to it. Which makes it a lot of fun. But again, if you're looking for something like unique, then you're, then you know, you're better off finding another Mario game, I guess. Again, it doesn't necessarily mean that this game is bad. But it does, again, mean, does, does, the game does have a kind of a safe feeling to it. And that can be a little annoying, you know, especially, again, this is not that long, you know, this is not that long after New Super, again, New Super Mario Brothers Wii was only a few, it was, uh, it was uh, only a few years old at this point. So, it's, it's, so the game's definitely not like new news, but it's not old news either, you know. 
and having the exact same presentation style as the previous, uh, can't even name uh, any new, I can, I think the only truly new music track in this game, and even then it's a remix, is the menu that is there to buy your DLC on. That's the newest track in the game. And honestly, I will, I will absolutely say that. I think the most damning aspect of New Super Mario Bros. Wii, more, uh, of this game, more than anything, more than anything, like, inherent to the game itself, is its presentation. If we didn't have a, um, like, a new, if we didn't have, like, other New Super Mario Bros. games to compare it to, this would be, like, a great game, like, on its own. But, unfortunately, you know, we have to consider it within the context of all of those other games. If this game didn't exist, you know, we probably wouldn't really be missing out on anything, really. And again, that doesn't necessarily inherently make New Super Mario Bros. 2 a bad game. But it does mean that, you know, there's not as much to it as, ma as maybe some would like. This is a game about collecting coins in the new Super Mario Brothers game style, right? And it does exactly what it says. In and of itself, yeah, it's fine. And I guess that's, again, the best thing, I, that's not, that's like the, both the best and the worst thing I can say about it. Like, uh, in and of itself, this game is fine, you know? But again, I do think that really is the presentation that damns it that damns the game most of all. More than more than anything with like its graphics or anything like and more than anything. This is a game who wishes it had a more unique presentation. Come on, build up speed. Thank you. Is there anything up here besides this? No? Okay. Oh, I guess they just want me to use the cannon. Okay. Alright, can we get the rainbow stage? That would be nice. Yes! Okay, we got the rainbow stage for this world. Alright, let's do it. But yeah, a, a few of these Mario games, in particular almost all of the new Super Mario Brothers games, are better if you ignore the context of, of its series, right? <laughs> like, it's not much like, like, if there were only one or two of these, I don't think people would feel the fatigue. And again, the fact that this game came out the same year as New Super Mario Brothers U, which is sort of, which, let's remember, that was meant to be the big Wii U launch title, was New Super Mario Brothers U, right? Kind of feels like, a, definitely feels like a bit, honestly feels like a bit of a misfire in retrospect, but I mean, what are you gonna do? All right. Eat my goods! I will gladly take money at least that's pride levels yeah yeah at least it is a pride levels like we can't I can't argue with that Mario says gay rights essentially thank you all right let's get some more one-ups let's punch let's do a punchy block all right that's a lot of one-ups three two one let's go Bonk, 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 no, you me, yeah, we got them all, give me all 10 one-ups, yeah, 
Mario is the ultimate life collector. All right, we got ourselves a fortress stage. We got big boy, the big boy over here. Good bonk sounds. Thank you. A lot of coin, a lot of coin. Coin, give me coin, give me coin. Please give me, give me coin. We got ourselves a slip and slide. Whee! Thank you, Mario. Mario, video game. Cetra, 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 please. Please, Cetra, stop it. Cetra, I beg of you. Stop lagging. Give me another one. Boink, boink, boink. Give me coins. Give me coins. Please, coins, no lag. Well, yeah, if there is something I can say about this game that's, like, unequivocally positive, I appreciate that this game runs at a perfect 60 frames per second. You know, not a lot of 3DS games run at 60 FPS native, you know? You know, usually we gotta, like... Usually we gotta, like, Usually we gotta keep in mind, uh... Usually we have to keep in mind, oh, usually the game will run at, like, 30. Right? There are, like, only a couple of, like, standout games where I'm like, yeah, this is a- This actually runs at a really smooth 60. Uh, like, I think Link Between- I can think of, like, A Link Between Worlds. I can think of, um, Smash Brothers, and that pushed the system, pushed the 3DS really hard. Um, but not a lot of 3DS games run at 60 FPS. Um, and the difference is pretty noticeable when you're playing it on the system. I, I guess really this a lot of the same things could be said in that regard for, um, for a New Super Mario Brothers, um, the original. Ah, uh, dang it. But it's really nice here, especially when it gets when the game gets to run at such a crisp uh, resolution. I mean, obviously, I'm playing this on emulator, and on emulator, I'm able to um, ju jump the resolution. So we're playing at 2x resolution right now. So everything definitely looks less blurry. But even then, it looks. Pr I was playing a little bit of the game last night, you know, just to get a feel for the controls and the gameplay. And it felt, and it's pretty good. It it's a good feeling game. I would like to go over there, please. I would like to go over here and see what goodies await me. A one-up that I'm not going to be able to collect. You know what? Not, I don't need it. I do not need it right now. What I need... What I, what I absolutely need is the location... Ow. What I absolutely need is the location of that last star coin. Because we are nearing the end, and I don't think we found it. But maybe if we come here. Beautiful. Alright. Let's go. Let's say hello to our boy again. Say with everyone. Hi, Raznor. Bonk. 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 Bye, Resnor. See you later. They're good boys. It's kind of fun to see this game that otherwise mostly leans on New Super Mario Brothers, um, Super Mario Brothers 3 nostalgia, doing something to bring back an enemy from Mario World specifically. I think that's neat. <sighs> well, they feel mean and angry? I don't know. Maybe they're just, maybe they're just... Maybe they're just mean, angry boys. All right. So our first ghost house. This one's going to be important because we need to find the secret exit here. This is the first level in the game with a secret exit. And we got some tricky blocks that want to be mean to me. So... I'm definitely going to keep that in mind. We got more buzz. This song never had buzz in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. But again, now we have bone goombas and bony piranha plants and dry bones that can do the dances, so that's something to keep in mind. 
So this is the first appearance of Bulossus. A giant boo that basically turns the level into an auto-scroller. It's got big teeth. You might recognize Bulossus from, um... You might recognize Bulossus from, uh, from uh, I want to say it was Mario Kart uh, 8. Uh, the entrance to um, Twisted Mansion has Bulossus as part of its design. So, that's pretty cool to see a see Bulossus reference in a later game. Who decided to give a boo teeth? I don't know. Same when they just go, ha 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 ha. Bulossus is one of the few edi new enemies be besides the bony piranha plants and certain other enemies that are unique to new super to that are unique to this game. And I and I think that's pretty cool. It make it gives a new unique flavor to the ghost houses. You know, turning them into makeshift auto scrollers. I say makeshift because the game does give you a bit of an opportunity to rest by looking at the at the at Bulasis. But and that belies the fact that if you look for too long, I would like that star coin. I would like the star coin. I would like the star coin. You know, it's fine. You know, it's fine. It's fine. We got to go back to this level anyway. We got to go back to this level anyway. We'll just play it normally. We'll just, we'll just beat the level normally. We'll come back. You know, no big deal. No big deal. Not, not a problem. We got to come back anyway. What's in this store? Anything? Nothing. What's in here? I would like... The exits, please. All right, give me the exits. Uh, this is the we got peepas again. You might remember these from New Super Mario from uh, three Super Mario 3D Land. They act more like uh the Boo Rings from other games. So kind of a clever repurposing of that enemy in a 2D in a 2D space. But we're gonna go back in because there is a hidden exit as well as that last star coin we did not get last time. So we're gonna have to do that. We're also gonna get this. This should give us a little bit of help. A little bit of help in our crusade against these evil jerk ghosts, including Bulasis. Oh, let Bulasis scroll. No, we don't. We don't want to get that block. All right, Losses. Good. Hello, hello. Why you say goodbye? I say hello. Ah! Losses makes a really weird noise. He's he's like a little weird dude. I mean, I think Losses is pronouns or he him. I don't actually know. All right, so we made it decently far. Moink, anything up here? Nope, nothing, but that's okay. Give me money. Money. Oh, dang it. I would like. Let me. Oh. Okay. Let me get this hidden block. No. Where's the secret exit? I know there is a secret exit somewhere here in this stage, but I don't remember where it is. Hey. And we'll die. All right, so we know where the coin is, at least. So where is the secret exit? I know there's a secret exit in this stage. And I thought it was near the end. Oh, well, let's keep looking. Come on. 
Gimme. Gimme. Alright, let's go. At least we're good when it comes to collecting star coins. We can get that one and we should be good to go. All right, why not? We'll get the star coin again. All right. Dang it, I would I would have liked to have kept that. Especially if we need to find a secret exit. Here it is! Maybe this is the secret exit. Okay, so it's near the second star coin. Okay, so we're gonna have to play the level again, get the coin, but that's fine. At least you, get, at least you know where the secret exit is, so we can get that. Okay, good. Okay, no, nope, not even gonna bother. We're just gonna get the, just gonna get this, and it's gonna be good. Good job, it's Mario time. Right this way. Good job, Mario. I'm very proud of you. All right, so that leads to a bonus level, and I believe this just takes us straight to the boss. But we're not gonna do that yet. We gotta go back inside, unfortunately. Alright, so this shouldn't be too long, shouldn't be too hard. We'll just have to, uh, play the level normally. Just gonna do that, so we can get some big money! 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There we go. Ah, oh, dang it. It's okay, we still got money. Ow, did not appreciate that m little boo. Did not appreciate your attitude, my, my friend. All right, if we get the uh, stuff here, we get, yeah, if we get the, We got this here. This should be pretty good. We'll just... Yep, yeah, there we go. Now let's get out of here. Keep scrolling the screen, my friend. We want to leave. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's get out of here. The exits. And you stop that. I don't want you chasing me, Mr. Boo. I don't trust your gumption. And there we go. We got our one up. We're at 120 lives. We're doing really well in that regard. And Mario is indeed number one. Uh, we'll do two four for you know what we'll do uh no we're, we'll do uh to be first to be or not to be that is the question the answer is we will be and we got fire flowers that we gotta do here ow well that's gonna be a little bit more annoying we got these sort of um 
Ow, these sort of uh, hills. Oh, didn't mean to kick you. Dang it. Come on. Do these bombs respawn? They don't. We gotta be we gotta use them carefully. Blow up. We get coins. That's our main goal for the stage. We're gonna wanna not get those kicked. But we want to try to blow up as many of these as we can in order to uh, get stuff. But we also want to use our bombs in order to blow entrances into these portions of the level. Or they will get us our goodies. They will get us plenty of goodies. Ow. Though, as, po as fun as they are, they are very deadly. Because, you know, they're bombs. So you got to be careful. And I have not been very careful. So that just means you have to be extra special careful. Hmm. Roll coins down here. That could only mean one thing. Secret. I'm assuming with this one, they will want us to do that. Ow. One up. Which we are going to get. Pretty cool. That's our second of the uh, medals. And we get a free fire flower. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's get out of here. Whee! Alrighty. So we still got a decent path through this stage. Ooh, we got a question mark switch. Haven't seen those in a while. Ooh, special, special blocks. Thirty. I'll take a thirty. All right, let's hopefully that will not have spawned too much. Ooh, I see. We got to get up there. Wonder. No, dang it. Did not mean to do that. I wonder if we could take advantage. Like we could maybe go uh, whip, whip. Yeah, beautiful platforming, beautiful poise, wonderful technique. One, two, three, four. Ow! Mario is dead! Good job, Mario. You d you died. You died. You still have a live surplus. You're doing well. But we do have to go down. We do have to go down. And get that, um... We have to go down and get this again. So... Shouldn't be too hard. Because we can just do that and just wait. And now let's go up. Womp, womp, womp. Whee! Good job, Mario. All right. Le Boink! Perfect. All right, let's get through the rest of this stage. All right, let's, let's speed this stage. Boink, boink. Boink, boink, boink. All right, we got ourselves a one-up. Very beautiful. I like the idea. Oh, this is a pretty clever um, level ending segment. We're not going to deal with it, but you could, you know, to get to the life. I always appreciate how these modern Mario games always try to make getting to the top of the flagpole a fun and, like, creative challenge. All right, so that locks the, all the way to the castle, all the way to the castle, but we're not going to do that. So we're going to do two, four. I remember liking this level a lot when I was... Yeah, go flower! Ah, uh, yeah, we're getting, we're going rich today, boys! Nothing will stand in our way, for we are the shining symbol of wealth in this institution. And we got a star. Do, 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 do. Let's defeat some enemies. Get a lot of riches. Can we... Is this level where we chain star? Man, it is! Oh, yeah. We're about to get real rich. Forget everything else. We'll, we will, we'll go back for everything else. I just need to get... Come on. All right. 
That's good enough. That's good enough. We got 500 coins. I think I would consider that pretty good enough. All right, let's go back. Let's get some stuff. Let's go and actually get some of the um, power-ups. All right, so we slide down here. That gets us our first star coin. That's good. Get the block. That's a fire flower. We'll get it for the points. All right. What is this pipe? Where does this pipe take us? Ooh, the home of ooh two, three, four, five. Boink, boink. Ah, dang it. Oh well. Boink, boink. I bet if you waited for a lot of enemies to spawn in, you get like a lot of coins. I think that's pretty cool. All right, so there was that sort of upper section that we saw earlier. I would like to investigate and see what that what that could mean for us. I would also like a power up. Thank you. So like here. So how do we get over there? We don't have the Can we get maybe a uh up hmm well we'll have to investigate later we'll have to keep going through this level and investigate later if if that's a missing uh if that's a mi ow if that's a missing thing we'll just you know we'll have to return for it let's get me that coin let's see do we miss anything in the previous section because I'm not sure if that's the exit or not let's wall jump up and see Okay, so that's the third star coin. So where is the second? Is it in... Is it in that section over there? How do we get to it? Are we supposed to bring it in like a tanuki or something? Hmm. I'm not sure now. That, that sounds like it would be the right location. Unless we're supposed to like... Abuse like a long. No, that doesn't get you enough distance. Hmm. I guess they want us to be the flight power up, but why make it a? Fl but if they want us to have the flight power up, why would they not give it to us automatically? There's got to be another part of that I missed. Let's go back and check it out. Okay, and let's also. Or maybe, yeah, maybe if we do the steps, we'll get a goodie. Come on. Come on. Gimme. Huh, just a fire flower. I mean, better a fire flower than nothing. Don't get me wrong, but. Where could the last one be? Where could the last coin be? It's not down here. Right? It's not down here. Because this doesn't have an exit. This is just going to spawn in Goombas. Might as well get a one-up while I'm... Oh, might as well get a couple one-ups while I'm here. Then where is the third coin? Again, there's nothing up here. Nothing down, th down here. Should be the exit, right? Well, let's find out. We'll just have to come back to the, we'll just come back to the stage. All right, let's beat this. Let's beat the stage. Let's come back and let's try to figure out where that star coin is. I feel like it's in that upper section, or it's in a section that requires the flight. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Toad House. We're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get our, we're gonna get ourselves, uh, Tanuki, we're gonna get ourselves a raccoon power-up. And we're gonna fly through the stage, and we're gonna figure out, like, where the power-up could be. And that'll be our plan, that'll be our game plan. Alright. So, let's try this.
Let's try this. Thank you. You can definitely take advantage of the flight in this level quite a bit, though we though I definitely want to be careful. Alright, let's go up here. Okay, so we have not so nothing up here yet. Is there anything if we go higher? It doesn't look like there's anything higher. Which okay, so that's interesting. There's nothing higher, and there's nothing lower, because obviously this is the third of the star coins. Where is star coin number two? Hmm. Let's see. I guess we could check down near the pipe section again. Maybe see if I missed something. I do like me some one-ups. Well, I think. probably get unlimited one-ups while I'm here. We're not gonna do that, though. Spitting that gets us nothing. Can't go down these pipes. Hmm. So, where could it be? It's not up... Ow. Hmm. If it's not up there, then where is it? Maybe down here we missed something? I know we come here, and that's like, oh, that's nice. The We get one of the star coins here. Star coin one. Hmm, let's return to the map and let's, re and let's figure this out. Let's try to figure this out. There's only so many places that we could have a, um, there are only so many places where we could have the star coin in this stage. Uh, no, we're gonna restart. That was bad luck. Only so many places where the star coin could be. I guess we could try to fly upward early and try to see if it's near there. We could just go early and we just go up from here. And we just like fly up. But that doesn't seem to be right, because we go up here, and there was nothing worthy to collect. Hmm, if anything, this makes this whole section make less sense, right? Unless there's a... hmm. Alright, so let's... let's... Let's just... Let's do this. let's do this. let's do the one... let's do the star. Let's... Go around, let's explore, let's try to figure something out here. Because I'm not sure, because again, I'm not sure what other options we have here. Alright, do we just, do they just want us to keep collecting the stars? All right, we cut things stars. You know, we keep defeating enemies. All right, star again. And that's it. That's the end of the stage. Mm, this game shouldn't give you a bonus for having a star again. Are there any breakable blocks that I missed? Like maybe down the warp pipe section, maybe there's something I missed. So we go past here. Can't go up. Let's go up through the warp pipe. No missing collectibles. Nothing list down here. Nothing up here. Wild to me. Alright, I'm legitimately confused. Where is the, where could the star coin be? We all right. So we checked every section of the stage. What did I miss? What could I have missed? All right, coming back here. We got the beginning section. We got the power up. We got the star. 
power-up segment. Thank you. You have this section for the first star coin. You collect the first star coin. We're golden, right? So we got the first star coin. We go through here. We jump down. We go wahoo. We do that. We've gotten the blocks here. We went up there with the two with the coin. Is there like is there a hidden? Is there like a hidden? Like how is there like a hidden? Um. Maybe there's like a hidden thing we could hit. Like maybe if we jump here or somewhere, there's like a hidden vine we could get. That seems to be the most plausible to me. No, don't actually go in the pipe. Obviously, we go down this pipe. That leads to the end of the stage. Hmm. Then where could this thing be? I feel like I've searched every part of the stage. Nothing up here, nothing up there. We flew all the way up there, so there wasn't anything we could have collected. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, or here, or here. Man, where the heck could it be? I've exhausted nearly every possibility in the stage. Stage. And I don't remember getting this stuck when I played this back in <laughs> back in 2012. So, this has got to be something I'm very obviously missing. Right? You can't go in the walls in this game, so there's nothing of that sort. We went through all the pipes. Went through that last pipe near the end. And just to be certain... There's nothing to collect... By going down this way. Because this is the end of the stage. There's no hidden power-up. No bonus to collect. Just the end of the stage. Okay. We'll, we'll finish the stage. Huh. Then there's got to be something. All right. Let's see. What am I missing? It's got to be, like, really obvious, too. Like, I'm just really missing, like, a super obvious hint. But let, let me see. Let me see. Let's go to World 1 or 2-4... World 2, close, stage 4, alright, so let's see, the star coins, star coin number 2, okay, second wall structure, the pokey yellow warp pipe, enter the warp pipe, gold ring, round pound of blick block from the lower platforms, drop down from a platform, oh, oh, that makes sense. I understand that puzzle now. That's a walkthrough platform. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I am a fool. You know what? It's okay because we're about to at least get like a ton of stuff. We're about to get we're, we're about to get it. Okay, I understand. I understand now. And now this video game cannot defeat me. Now I know your secrets game. I know exactly what you want me to do now. <laughs> All right, so. Let's go. All right, let's get our power up. Give me my fire flower. I want to come this way. I want to go this section. Um, we want to... Um... Ow. Uh, we're gonna go- we're gonna ignore this. We go down this way, we go down this way, and it's a platform. Okay! Alright! That makes sense. I understand. I should have realized they wouldn't just put a block like that for no reason. Ugh. Well, that's fine. You know, that's fine. Imagine dying to a Goomba IRL. Well, I mean, it's gotta hurt, you know? Goomba walks into you and you just die. I mean... It's hurt. It's gotta hurt physically and emotionally. Alright, so let's get- alright, so we got our star coin. Alright. Uh, I'm not going to bother getting any power-ups. Let's get out of here. This is a pretty fun level for level grinding, though. Completely unrelated. Why did they make Mario jump differently when invincible? Uh, I, th uh, I don't know. Uh, well, I know when they started doing it. 
In Mario 3, they made, they, they added that to Mario's jump, I guess, to make him seem more, maybe to make him seem more, like, athletic and nimble while, while in Superstar form. But that's the best I could think of. Um, they took it, you know, it was a Mario 3-ism that they just adapted and kept using. Which, I mean, hey, it's a fine Mario 3-ism. There's a lot of chain chomps. We can free them. I will gladly try to free at least a few of these chain chomps. Oh, it throws me off. Feels like a nerf to the movement. I mean, to be I mean, I guess to be fair to the developer, developers, uh, the jumping mechanics don't change when you spin. You move the same. It's just a visual animation. But I can understand why that feels like disorienting. All right, we're gonna wait. All right, now we're going back. But I can understand why that it, it, it can feel very it can it can feel pretty different. There we go. Run free, my friend. It doesn't. It also it doesn't help. I guess, or maybe it does help that uh, you move a lot faster when you have the star. So even if you're just trying to plan your jumps like normally, it, you'll f probably feel off. So combine all those facts together and you have a bit of a bit of a tough time. I can totally sympathize with that. Alright, let's uh, avoid these chain chomps. And we didn't avoid them well enough, but that's fine, because the star coin's still down here. Ooh. Run free, my friend! Maybe it's yellow pipe, but there's no secret exit in this stage, so we're we're fine. At least I don't think there's a secret exit. There is, well then, whoops, but we're beating this level normally for first. Oop. No. Gimme! Yes, gimme, thank you. I would like a tanuki leaf, please. Gimme my raccoon suit. Whee! Level beaten. Mario 1-Up. Excellent. Yes, Mario is number one. I agree with you, Mario. All right, so well, we beat 2B already. So we have one last level of in this world. It is indeed a go time, Mario. All right, so let's get going. This level is a level where we are forced to move. And enemies drop on us. I don't like that. Not the biggest fan. But we do have platforms we can jump on. Thank you, power ups. We. Wah. Wah. Oh no! Oh boy, these boys are them spinning ones. Okay, we gotta be careful. Oh, one up! Woo! Good job. Oh boy. We <laughs> go into the lava, my friends. Finding that an organ is the same name as a body part. Yeah? It's a little weird. Oh no, hurry! No, 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 no. I want I want my friend. Give me my buddy. Give me my buddy. Oh, hello. Not don't love that. Boink! Thank you. Uh, Alright, let's... Hmm... Don't love these... Fireball patterns. Ah, uh, we probably could use the spring there. Not a big deal, though. Okay. Oh! Safety spots! Oh, I see. They want us to... Dang it. All right. You know what? We're dying on purpose. <laughs> you actually have a musical instrument in your body. That's... Hmm. It's not what I was expecting. But, okay. <laughs> but, all right. Let's go back to Two Castle. Let's, uh, let's do this section again. 
And let's actually, let's actually bring the spring, and let's actually try to bring the spring. Can we, do we have the spring? Yeah, let's actually try to bring the spring with us this time. Instead of abandoning it. Callously. Alright, we're just gonna, gonna boing. No! Don't do that. No, never mind! It's called, I don't like when you don't believe in yourself with this. Uh, I said nothing about not believing in myself. I'm just saying that um, I want to actually bring the spring and not lose it this time. I believe in my ability to do it. I just got to do it. I'm killing myself on purpose so I can reset myself. That is not not believing in myself. That's me making a strategic play. Okay. Boing. Boing. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. Now we're good to go. Boing, boing, boing. Boing, boing. Bo boing. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, it's okay. We still have our spring, and that's what matters right now. Take the spring, jump up here, use this as our safe spots, get the coins while we're here, and go. And we're spring up. And there we go. Oh, I can beat the level, but I'm not just trying. But as you know, I am not just trying to complete the level. There we go. Peace switch. If I were just trying to beat the level, then yeah, I'd absolutely be able to, like, just beat it. But we're not just playing for beating. We're playing... We're not just playing to complete. We're not just playing to beat the level. We're playing to 100% complete. And I think that is important to remember. But there we go. That's... That's better. We're good to go. You would prefer to beat the level? Well, look at it this way, John. We're about to beat the level right now. About to find out the Koopaling, even! Alright, so Iggy's back. He's slapping his booty. And he has his boy again. You- This is the exact same gimmick his boss had in... The previous New Super Mario Bros. game, so... Neat. You know? So, like, sure, why not? Kind of a derivative fight, but... It doesn't necessarily make it a bad fight. It's just a little vanilla. Comparatively. Life, your attitude goes a long way. That's fair. And goodbye. Another easy coupling fight. And goodbye to the chain shop. Let's get our key. And we did it! Alright, so that finishes off World 2. We've been recording for quite a for quite a long time. Hi Wendy! Thanks for blowing me a kiss, I guess. Alright, there we go. So we beat two worlds this stream, two out of the nine. I think what I'm gonna do, because we s and now we got- now we get more packs for Coin Rush. Um... And we saved the game. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do... Is that since we started later tonight, and we've gone on for about two hours now, I think we're gonna cut it here. We're gonna stop here, and we're gonna do more next time. The goal, though, next week is that we're actually going to... I'm going to try to start on time. I'm going to start at 7 instead of 8. And we're going to try to do three worlds of gameplay. We're going to do... Um, we're going to do um, World Mushroom. We're going to do World 3. And then we're going to do World 4. Right? And then we'll do uh, two more worlds in a couple weeks. And then two more worlds. We'll sort of stack it like that. Um, but for now, you know... Oh, you just returned from the bathroom break. Um, well, uh, we're just about finished with the stream tonight. Um, we're doing, uh, you know, we did all of World 1, we did all of World 2. Oh, okay, okay, just want to make sure. 
Um, so we beat, so this episode, you know, we beat two of the seven Koopalings. Um, everything's all good to go. Uh, but again, next week, we're going to be doing Mushroom. We're going to be doing World 3, and we're doing do World 4, right? Then we're going to do, uh, another Mystery World in World 5. And then we'll probably do World 6 and the Super Bonus level. We might change the pacing a little bit depending on how things go. But I think I want to say that's the general goal of how we want to do this. I kind of want this to be um, a four-part let's four-part series. I don't want this series to go on super long. I want this to end before year one of Mario Mondays is done. Also, I'm glad you noticed the new tags. Aren't they lovely? Um, but yeah, uh, we're done with tonight's stream. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, next week, we're going to be playing some more new super mario brothers 2 and we'll talk a bit more about some of the bonus options and all that stuff and that should be really fun so good night everyone who's watched uh we'll be back next week for some more gameplay and uh i'll see you guys soon this has been volcanic dynamo and i hope you guys take care and have a good night bye